आर्काइव्स ऑफ प्रसार भारती प्रेजेंट्स द टाइमलेस ट्रेजर ऑफ गोल्डन एरा The depressed castes of Pithila did not have any tradition of painting. The newfound prosperity of upper caste artists encouraged the Harijans to appeal to the Handloom and Handicraft Export Corporation to help them develop a saleable art form. With support from Bhaskar Kulkarni and Manu Parekh, on behalf of HHEC. A new school of Harijan painting was created, and with it emerged a number of talented individual artists, both male and female. The Harijan painters of Mithila, unlike the upper caste artists, do not derive their visual narratives from the Ramayana and the Krishna Leela. They have their own stories of Shailesh Raja. and moti ram to take off from raja salhes ke kahani hum log banate hain shanti devi paswan of lahiria ganj teen bhai hai told us about how the tale of sailesh raja raja salhes ka sawari hai haathi aur moti ram ka sawari hai ghora ghora par marriage karne ja rahe hain ye malin hai inka naam hai reshma फर्स्ट मालिन है सेकेंड का नाम है कुसमा थर्ड के नाम है दाना तो ये मैरिज करने जा रहे हैं वहाँ का सीन दिया है पीछे ये है दुर्गा महारानी ये दुर्गा पूजा के लिए मोती राम को पीछे कर रहे हैं और कुसमा मालिन कोबला किए थे जो हमारे मैरिज हो जाएंगे तो हम आपको पूजा करेंगे वही का सीन है ये सारे Her husband, Sivan Paswan, has a style of painting that is quite different. He works with finer, more sensuous lines.
राम सुंदरी कुमारी द टैलेंटेड यंग डॉटर ऑफ रोडी एंड चन्नो पासवान हैज ऑलरेडी डेवलप्ड हर पर्सनल स्टाइल इन विच ह्यूमन फिगर स्टैंड आउट एंड देर इज अ ग्रेटर इम्फोसिस ऑन नरेशन रोडी पासवान एंड चन्नो देवी ऑफ जितवारपुर वर्क एज अ टीम Their works are characterized by symmetrical arrangements of images and strong regular rhythms. Jamuna Devi is the senior most of the Harijan artists. She told us the Harijans too have their own caste style in painting cobra on the mud walls of bridal chambers. So, in those, the kagaz pe kaam karne bola aap. Uske baad kabhi nahi ye kaam kiya mitti pe. Aur, yeh parma se nikla. However. Godna paintings done on paper have simulated mud wall textures obtained by the application of tints from cow dung these are done exclusively by harijan artists jamuna devi's own work deals with secular subjects and daily life the secularization and the commercialization of mithila art has not only given rise to individual creativity but has also brought about far reaching social changes a new found brotherhood among artists is breaking down old caste barriers the brahman pavan kumar jha does not hesitate to take tea in dosad rodi paswan's home in the heart of caste ridden bihar ek ek tarah ki tarika ke painting hota tha caste ke ek tarika ki aaj kal to wo bhag dikhai nahi jata ni tene upar maharati kahalki यहाँ जब बावन वाला कैट वाला काज कर आगा कहियो नहीं बढ़ अहा अपन हिजन वाला करू तब आगा हाकू शाह इज अ पेनिट्रेटिंग ऑब्जर्वर ऑफ द लिविंग आर्ट ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कंटेम्पररी इंडिया ही इंट्रोड्यूस अस टू द योगी फैमिली लिविंग इन अ माइग्रेंट स्लम ऑफ अहमदाबाद गणेश भाई योगी हिज वाइफ 
Tejubai, their son Prakash and their daughter are all painters. In themes and styles and attitudes, they are as different from each other as only art school trained urban individualistic artists can be. Yet the innocence and the wonder in their observations, the simple mythic quality of their imagination and the naivete they display in their descriptions and narrations cannot be interpreted as anything other than folk in intent. As in the case of the Yogi family, Hakusha 
assisted the emergence of another individual artist with unmistakable folk characteristics. Jagdish Bage Chitre is the son of a textile printer. Jagdish lives and works in a roadside shanty in Ahmedabad. Under Haku Bhai's persuasion, Jagdish took to the hand painting of textiles. He used vegetable and mineral pigments in an effort to revive the Kalamkari tradition of his forefathers. In his Kalamkari, Jagdish places either an iconic figure or an iconic episode in the center and then constructs an elaborate Puranic narration with images arranged to be seen from any of the four sides. His Kalamkaris stand in favorable comparison with the old traditional ones. Talking about painted textiles, especially the figure-centered, narrational ones, we are reminded of the Pichwais of Rajasthan. Pichwais, like the fine example we saw at the painter-collector Amit Ambalal's place in Ahmedabad, deal with the Krishna legend. The color of the flat background plays a mood evocative role. On such a background, almost silhouetted linear images are rhythmically arranged. Which wise immediately remind us of the paintings of Manjit Bawa an eminent contemporary artist. Bawa's images, though endowed with volume and organic substance, are similarly delineated against brilliantly colored flat backgrounds. His images too are starkly juxtaposed to each other without any garnishings.
Bichwais, however, are not the only Rajasthani source from which Manjit draws his inspiration. Folk art will survive, not only as tradition, but also as the living source of inspiration and influence, as long as modern art has domestic roots. Thank <laughs> you. 